Hello, I'm Christopher Coppola. Every year, Shriners Hospitals for Children provides world-class care for thousands of young patients. This is the tale of two of them, Kate Hickman of Houston, Texas, and Alyssa Perkins of Las Vegas, Nevada. We brought their families together to share their experiences in person of two innocent children enjoying life when suddenly, in Kate's case, she suffered a terrible accident when she was only eight years old. March 26th. March 26th, 2006. We were some friends in the backyard. The kids were playing. Um, one of the kids wanted to play with the sparklers. I took that candle and I put it on top of this, um, this ledge. And the kids were playing and I went to check on the brownies. And um, all of a sudden, one of the little girls came in. I remember her going, Kate's dress is on fire. And, and then I heard her screaming, and I and I ran back around, and when I came up this narrow alley, I mean, the dress was just pretty much burnt. It was, like, still on fire. And then I just went like this, and pulled it off. Just, like, raw steak, you know, everywhere. And I remember Kate going, I can't feel my arms! I can't feel my legs! In an instant, Kate suffered second and third degree burns over half of her body. Some tragedies come quickly, others emerge over time. Alyssa's parents learned of her condition before she was born and deeply struggled with how to respond. At the 20-week visit, we went to the specialist. Her femur and her um, lower leg bone um, was shorter than the other leg. Alyssa suffered from congenital fibular deficiency. Her femur and tibula bones were shortened and bowed, and she was missing the fibula bone. You can see where the femur is, is bent. I had a, a couple visits with doctors here, and we didn't get a very good feeling as to what the plan was going to be for her. They talked a lot about lengthening, where they actually cut the bone, um, and they crank it open. And so who knows if she'd be in a wheelchair her whole life or have to have walk with a cane or be able, able to walk at all. Somebody said to us, well, amputation, that'd be an easy one-time fix, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, and that just kind of left me in pieces a little bit because I was like, it's not, a, it's not an easy fix. Um, nothing's going to be an easy fix. They said, well, when she's one, come back and we'll make a plan. And I was just like, you know, thinking wasted time. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I, yeah. I want a plan now. Two very different and traumatic cases with one thing in common. Shriners Hospitals for Children was there to help when others could not, something Dr. Hickman discovered at the first emergency room they took Kate to. The ER doc took one look at her and he said, and she just backed up like, whoa, I, we can't handle this. So she called, you know, Houston's a big place. Two medical schools here, all these major hospitals, MD Anderson, Baylor College of Medicine, and so forth. So she calls them up and they say, oh, we can't handle this. I just thought, wow, how could that be the case? And they said, oh, we'll send her to Shriners um, Hospital for Children. So we get there and we pull in and she gets to the ICU room and the guy looks at her and goes, oh yeah, we're good. And I said, what? He said, oh yeah, we're good. Yeah, we'll be okay, we'll be able to handle this. That was the beginning of the hope that Shriners Hospital for Children, you know, planted in us. Shriners Hospitals for Children in Galveston provided total burn care for Kate. Treating her injuries was just the beginning, and there were some difficult decisions to make. I said, you have to take her hair off, and they said, yeah, because um, they need the skin on her head, because it's the best kind of skin to grab under her abdomen. She needs this, and it's gonna be okay every day more people were put into our lives. Shriners employees, doctors, nurses, that were just like angels. Like it's just a piece that, that made every awful step so much easier. Burn care here is better than almost anywhere in the world. When she first came in the door, she had a doctor, she had a nurse, she had a respiratory therapist, she had an occupational therapist, a physical therapist, a play therapist. Oh, when we saw her, I think she had just had a surgery. She wasn't exactly like herself. <laughs> I remember this one time, we were feeding her her popsicle, and then <laughs> all of a sudden she like sticks her tongue out and wiggles it, and like really like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Kate. Yeah, that's the real Kate coming out there. Having been a doctor and, and been practicing for quite a few years, 
This place seems to me like a very much like Johns Hopkins. Very, very high quality care for pediatric brain. So I couldn't think of a better place for Kate to come. Not every child comes to Shriners Hospitals for Children through an emergency. To raise awareness and reach out to those in need, many public events are held year round across the country. This is how the Perkins family found their hope at a golf course near Las Vegas. There was a lot of children actually there that um, had gone to Shriners Hospital for Children, walking around and all the, the Shriners in their hats. And um, when we went there to this um, children's clinic, Justin Timberlake was there and he was giving a golf clinic to the children. And we saw this really pretty <laughs> girl who um, had a prosthetic and she was golfing with Justin Timberlake. And here's an athlete who has a prosthetic. And so um, Katie Walker, came over and introduced herself and talked with us and told us about Shriners Hospital for Children in LA. Katie Walker is a current patient ambassador who continues to raise awareness for Shriners Hospitals for Children, just as Kate and Alyssa will do in the future. Because of what they learned at the golf tournament, Alyssa was treated at CAP, the Child Amputee Prosthetic Project, a one-of-a-kind program at Shriners Hospitals for Children in Los Angeles. After going there, we were just like, you know, this is going to be all right, and she's going to be all right, and I mean, it was just amazing. We ended up going out to surgery in April. Alyssa's father kept a journal to help them through the stressful time of surgery. It says April 29th, 2010, the surgery day. Surgery was set for 7 a.m. I get emotional. Um, Tara was, reach, was uh, rocking her, and she gave her to me, and, and I rocked, rocked and gave her love. <laughs> so it says the nurses came in and said it was time and so we put her in her crib and they wheeled her to the OR. It was very emotional watching her and she was happy and sweet and making it harder for us. Um, we were crying and it was sad watching our little angel being wheeled to surgery. Tara and I went to the waiting room and cried and prayed for the best. They said we need the Perkins family to the OR. When we got up there, they said that she was done with surgery and that everything was fine. Shriners has been the major provider for prosthetics for children in the United States. There's really no money motive in it for, the, for those of us who are looking after the children. We see a child who needs care, and we're able to give it. The families love the hospital. They love the people. Oh. <laughs> you doing okay? Yeah. yeah, oh my goodness. When Kate first got in here, she would barely move her arm at all. Um, I think, which side was it? I can't remember which was worse. It was the right side. And we spent hours, we spent hours stretching that arm out. Really just working on every, like we said, every little milestone we can reach. Um, it's something to be celebrated. Now, I definitely think that Kate took this horrible thing that happened to her and, and she just takes whatever adversity she comes up against and and, and works her way through it and, and turns it into something amazing. I'm so glad you're, you're doing what you're doing yeah. still. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm still loving it. Don't get so good that you and like grow up and you're in charge of the whole hospital. Oh, no, Stay no. right here with I'll the always, patient. I'll always be right here with the patient. Okay. Allie um, loves Tony, and Tony loves Allie. Can you do it? Drum roll, please. Well, you gotta go straight. You gotta go straight. You look wonderful. Good work. All right. You look good. Five. Five. Very good. <laughs> you did so good. I was really blessed to uh, be able to, to work in a place like this where, because this is something I always wanted to do. Uh, it seems like in one form or another, I've always been trying to help people. The biggest thing for me is for her to uh, have a complete life and to be able to do every, everything that she wants to try to do. Huggy. Okay. All right, honey. You did wonderful. What did Tony do? Put a leg. He gave you a leg. Through the constant commitment of Shriners everywhere and the public's generous support, Shriners Hospitals for Children continues to change lives. Whenever I'm at a parade or whenever I'm in public and I see a man with that fez hat on, I go up and I just hug them, you know, because I know that, like, behind that is such goodness. Shriners was the first place where Tara, I think, actually felt like 
whatever questions she had, she could get answered. Mm -hmm. And so when they came back and she told me that um, I went and I donated to Shriners in Allie's name, I do every year, um, and that's important to me. I've known some very prominent Shriners in my time, and uh, uh, you know, just the, the, the concern that that organization has for children is just w w warming to me. It's, in t it's very moving to see th that, uh, those efforts. They made me blossom into like this little girl who knows who she is and became more confident. All those people are so nice and everyone's so positive and they just try to make it just a bit a better situation. The, the truth is it's like the best hospital that there ever could be. And it just helps lives so much and I'm so grateful for it. They changed something that we were, you know, really scared about and really unsure about into something that was just going to be all right. She's a patient for life there. While the two families were spending time together, sharing their pain and their joy, we asked them to create a gift for each other. Two short video art portraits, one of Kate and one of Alyssa, visual documents of their two unique journeys. And now, without further ado, Shriners Hospitals for Children presents the video art portraits of Kate Hickman and Alyssa Perkins. Enjoy. Dear sweet Alyssa, what an inspiration you are. Your future is alive with so much joy ahead. Some days won't be easy, times when you feel blanked with loss. But it's not what happens to us in life, it's how we respond to what happens to us that makes all the difference in the world. Know that when others see the good that you're doing, the smile that you're sharing, the love that you're showing, the wisdom that you're growing, the heart that bends toward them in kindness, the joy for each day you have in this life, you will awaken within them their own courage, love, and sweet joy. They will see your light and they will part curtains in their minds with a very powerful message that says, I can do anything. You have a purpose, you have a mission, you are loved. You're not alone. The Hickman and Perkins families crossed paths because of the incredible care they received at Shriners Hospitals for Children. They are part of a larger family now, an organization that treats the entire patient's life, empowering them to achieve the bright futures they deserve. This is the tale of two patients, Kate and Alyssa, but it's also the story of the miracle that Shriners Hospitals for Children makes possible for every child in their care every day. Thank you for watching.